Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Russian Cura here, coming to you all the way from beautiful Lanzarote in the Canary Islands, just off the coast of Africa. I'm in the Jardín de Cactus, or the Cactus Garden, designed by Cesar Manrique, and I've been looking for some nice cacti to sketch and to show you how my sketch pocket works. So here I am, Roshi, and I've just opened my sketch pocket. I've taken out my sketchbook. So let's just see that again. That is my A6 Hanamula 100% cotton sketchbook, and that is kept in the upper half of the sketch pocket when you open it up. And then I use these clips, magnetized on one side, to both hold my pages down and to take my paint box when the time comes. And on the top half, I've just whipped out my, my Sailor Foodie pen from its little elastic holding place and I'm good to go. I've chosen these beautiful agaves because I love the shapes. They're so strong and pointy. And the colors are such lovely shades of green. Pretty quiet here today, but I will be joined along the way by a few visitors like myself. So my food day 55 degree nib is just the job to get these really nice expressive lines. I move my magnet away out of the out of the root of my pen as and when I need to. The ink I'm using today is called Frida and it's a sketch ink by Rohr and Klingner. And just remember, if you are getting the Rohr and Klingner brand of fountain pen ink, remember to get the one that's called sketch ink because it doesn't, it doesn't block or clog your pen and it's completely waterproof. So I'm using the reverse of the nib to do these skinny little lines that you can barely see because I want to do lines of less weight on the inside of the leaves. It really is a beautiful place and I'm very comfortable standing doing my bit of sketching. Nearly done now, nearly time to start painting. Got two agaves in side by side. Pretty, pretty plants. Okay, time to whip out my paint box, which was in the right hand side of the lower half of my sketch pocket. Oh, I've got a piece of tissue folded up inside the lid to stop the paint box rattling as I walk along and it bangs against my hip. However, I am going to put a piece of toweling or something like that so that you can use it both as a muffler for rattling and as a way to soak up your excess water and paint. So I'm using my water brush. This is a Sakura. Now it's a fine tipped brush. And I think in this particular instance, I should have been using the broad one, which I also have. But there's water in the handle, so I don't need to bend down at any moment to get on my painting, which is just perfect, very convenient. The only drawback to this particular Sakura water brush is that I've chosen the small handle rather than the longer handle just because it's kind of more convenient but the problem with that is it does run out of water quite quickly so for that reason and also for ease of convenience and changing colour from dark to light I've actually brought three little water brushes with me and they all live quite happily in the elasticated band in my sketch pocket so you can see I'm getting on great here I'm using shades of Phthalo green, sap green, and yellow. Time to change water brushes for another water brush. So either I've run out of water here or I've changed color and I want to get a nice fresh batch. Now I have been joined by a lady sitting on the rock that the agaves are growing against and she's having a quiet moment with a packet of crackers and a vape. So hopefully we won't get in each other's way too much.
these are the two little pockets on the lower half of the sketch pocket when it's open. And I keep a box of paints in each one of those. You only need one box of paints, but you never know when you might need a kind of a different palette or something. And the eagle-eyed amongst you might have spotted the little vial of spare ink that I keep in the middle of the sketch pocket. So it's kind of like down the spine, nice and secure in a stretch of elastic as well. So what I'm trying to do here is increase the contrast between the different depths of colour of the leaves, especially where one leaf is behind another. So I'm trying to darken them. I wouldn't say that I did the most complete and full job on this agave, but the truth is I was absolutely dying for a cup of coffee and I wasn't inclined to have a huge amount of patience to spend very much longer on it. At this point, I'm chopping and changing between pen and water brush and a second water brush just to make sure that I've got my hands on the tool I want. And it's really convenient. I have everything right there. I love the 100% cotton sketchbook by Hannah Mula. There is no real need to get it over the regular 200 gram watercolor sketchbook. The 100% cotton is 250 grams, but I just like to indulge myself in my beloved activity of sketching. So here I go, I'm done, and I am ready for a coffee and little cake. And today's cake on the menu is a lemon cake and a little thing that looks like a donut, but it's actually an aniseed cake. And I have to say, they're both very delicious. And I leave much refreshed and very happy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little video from me, Roshan Curé in Lanzarote. And I look forward to seeing you next time.